a brown horse and a white horse because we're in Clare, not Roscommon. <laughs> made a ton joke. It wasn't a very good ton joke, but still. We have on Shuppa Bjog, Trasnamarsh Inn. John looking pensive. Oh, just on his phone, actually. Never mind. The green room, hair lounge. And I am actually walking around Killaloo like a freaking tourist right now. I have uh, my phone is on a, like a selfie stick, but um, it doesn't extend to just try and give it a, bit, a little bit more stability. Oh, pretty flowers. And we are here for the cathedral, where I'm hoping that we're going to find an Oum stone that has runic writing on the back and Oum on the front, or vice versa, according to how it is positioned. So, here's John. Say hi, John. Hi, John. This is how much now of uh, Brian Baru country we're in out here is Brian's Bridge. May not be anything to do with Brian Baru, but there's a lot of O'Briens around here now, let me tell you. So we are, I'm pretty sure Killaloo is County Clare. It is Clare, isn't it? No idea. We are, we yeah, we're, we're on the border, boundary anyway. The Shannon is the boundary. Um, so I'm not quite sure which county. I'm pretty sure it is County Clare. And we're definitely heading into County Clare anyway, so... I think when you cross the boundary, cross the Shannon... So. Is it closed? Damn it. And we have a, we've been met with a closed church, which is not, ugh, I'm annoyed. So it is a, we're in the right place. It is a Church of Ireland church, so Protestant church. Ooh, I don't know how my gods feel about Protestant churches. I presume the same rules apply. It's all right being on the grounds of it, but not um, not taking part in any of their ceremonies or services. So it doesn't look like we're going to be able to get in to see the Ohm Stone. It doesn't say anything there about it, does it? It does, yeah. Yeah? What's it say? Uh, Can you read it? Well, there's a lot of other stuff about the cathedral itself. But if we skip part way down, it does get to a little bit more information about it. Let's see if we can get into the graveyard. Oh yeah, okay. Sorry. Don't worry. Okay, go. So, um, skipping the stuff at the it says that a tall 4 meter 12th century high cross depicting the crucifixion originally at Kilsworner's Abbey was erected by Bishop Mann at this place, Carlisford. It was eventually moved to the present standing position in 1999. Also, oh, that's a different thing in there, sorry. Also in the nave, also in the nave is an unusual cross fragment bearing both own dating from around 5th to 7th centuries and runic inscriptions found in a nearby wall in 1916. The Om reads a blessing on Torgrim and the runic Torgrim carved this cross. This diocesan cathedral is still used as a place of worship but visitors are welcome. Unless the doors are closed and locked. In which case, visiting hours are closed. God damn it, Protestants. So up and about into, uh, oh, we have a shop over there called Alchemy. Oh. Garda, Garda Shikaloni. I always enjoy these kind of plants. A little 
ones. Macro on the edge of nothing. It's like, you know, I'll take the smallest foothold I can get and I'll grow. <sighs> Can't even get in. Oh, we can. Woohoo! <laughs> Ooh, graveyard. Always close the door after. Always close the door after. Ooh. So is it in there? No. Flanagan's power tree. These pillows used to look like that. Yeah, that's from people touching them. Don't touch carved stone. Do you hear that, tourism people? Don't ever touch carved stone, because this is what happens to them. They should look like this, and now they look like this. I, I'd also make an argument that it's pollution. Pollution causing acid rain, acid rain. Well, I rain. can't do anything about pollution, but I can tell fuckers not to touch our carbon that's, stones. That's true. Okay? And, and tell fuckers to not burn so much and use less CFC. Yeah. Hello, Robin Stroop. How are you? Where are you watching from? We are currently in Killaloo, in case you missed the start of the show back here. We have been looking for an ohm stone, but the freaking church is locked. Should be in there somewhere. In the nave in there, but um Yeah. Ooh. Interesting. What the hell are they for? I am unfamiliar with this architectural feature. And this one over here. Yeah, it's filler. Filler? Okay, maybe there was a window or an opening of some sort. We feel. They just put like fucked a load of stones in. I don't know. If anybody knows what that is, leave a comment below. Crosses are kind of cool. You gonna take some pictures? Hmm? You gonna take some pictures? Yeah. I'll fucking get up there with my knee. This used to be no problem for me, but now I have a bogey knee and. Oh, let me just see if I can old person my way up here. Oh, there we go. Oh, people noises. So I hope you're enjoying your walk through. This is a yew tree, by the way, it's huge. It means it's really, really old. Can you see, can you see, can you see how big? All of our yew trees, they're huge. Hugeness. This is a rhododendron. Ooh, a yew tunnel. Oh, look at this. This is interesting. I don't think I've ever walked under a yew tunnel before. Because of its um, tendency to be planted or to, to grow in graveyards, the, uh, the yew tree is very much, as much associated with death here in our folklore. I'm so gonna have to tag my friend Morpheus Ravenna in this because she loves graveyards. Oh, look at that little cool thing up there, look. It's like a little window. So there's obviously a, a passageway or an archway or something, a corridor or something that they decided to just let a little bit of life in. Love architectural features like that. 
And here we have the Shannon. And all the tourism. So I'm not sure what these plants are. I think these pink ones might be like, I could have this completely arseways, but they could be like valerian or something, maybe? These ones? Maybe not, but maybe. Oh, I love the Shannon. And this mountain over here, you can see in the background here, is where we're going today. We are on our way for a site visit to Craiglia, which is the home of the O'Brien Banshee. So it's up a mountain, there's a little holy well and a big rock and we have to just try and find it. Somebody hasn't got a headstone. Oh, these yew trees are amazing. They're so big. Yew trees are really, really, really slow growing. So my, um, oh, I'm walking somebody's grave. These are really old graves, obviously. My, um, my being taken with these really old yew trees. Ooh, what's this? Little house back here. I'm going to presume this is some kind of sanctuary, like biodiversity sanctuary that's been set up. But uh, also could be fairies. I know I'm not talking about those twee little things that people put stupid fairy doors into their children's bedrooms for. I mean, this, look at this. This is like... If that's not a she house in there, then I don't know what is. There's definitely fairies in there. Fairies love graveyards, so they do. Get a bit of peace. Especially these older, wilder ones. We have a lot of older, wilder graveyards in Ireland. Between the ghosts and the fairies, they're... Uh, well, I'm not sure how much peace actually anybody gets. elder growing here with our lovely elder flowers just coming out. You're getting a little graveyard tour and a biodiversity walk while we're here. Somebody cleaning graves over there. It really is beautiful here actually if you're popping through Killaloo at any point. I do um recommend a little graveyard sojourn. I live. Monster rugby flag. Okay. Not sure what that's about, but well, obviously it's about monster rugby, but John is going to take some pictures here, so if you want some still shots, pop over to his Facebook page. What is this? Uh, his Facebook page is, oh shit, what is it, Dagdabard? Hello. Hi, how are you? No way getting in to see the Ohm stone, is there? Which? The Ohm stone in there. There is, yeah, it's a trap open. No. Are you sure about that? No, it is. It's open. It's just closed. The front door's closed out. Is it? You yeah. can actually go in? Just push it? You walk up towards the door. Yeah. And push it open. You turn the handle at the same time. Oh. No, we just didn't try hard enough is what you're telling me. I just clarified that for you. <laughs> Make sure that I'm right that it is. That's actually right. The front handle is not open to the public. Why did it open? You know how I know? Because uh, the gate's open. Right, okay. 
So we can, open. we can push in, okay. One second, yes, I'm right. <laughs> so, excuse me. Hello, will you just turn the handle on that door there and push it and make sure it's open? I, I think it's open. It is yeah. open, yeah. You've just been in there, perfect. Yeah, all right. Thank you so much. All right, because right. I was saying once the gate open, that's open. Yeah, it makes, it makes sense. All right, thank, thank you, you so much. You've been so helpful. Yeah. I'm here doing a little tourism video on a... Uh, I'm not touching outside of Ireland. Right. <laughs> You're making a video, eh? Making a little tourism video, just uh -huh. I work in tourism, so I like to show people the, the lesser seen parts of, of Ireland. It's not all about Newgrange, you know? You know something? You're right. Yeah. I don't know how far actually it's back. Do you mind being on camera? <laughs> Go on, we're on Facebook Live now. <laughs> What's your name? This. This, my name is John. John, I think nice to meet you. Just dates back, actually. I don't even know. He could be going back to 17th century. Wow. That's just a wild guess now. Yeah, yeah. So don't quote yeah. me on that. <laughs> <laughs> it's alright. Because I'm going by the headstones, by yeah, the, yeah. the ages of the headstones, so I'm imagining that it's there like the 17th century. Yeah. You see 1775, I would imagine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I suppose the well, church is around there. 1798, that was the year of the rising. It was. Vinegar Hill and all that. Yeah, and then supposed the church is supposed to be there at least another 50 or 100 years before that. Yeah. So, there or thereabouts. Awesome. Well, thank you very much, Sean. You've been very helpful. Have a lovely evening. Thanks. It's not as warm as people would no. imagine. So it's no, not, no, I no. People's gone off the beach today. Oh, I might be a bit uh, disappointed now. I'm glad I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> You're working instead. <laughs> yeah, that's it. There you go. <laughs> Thanks, John. It's open. We can go back around. Yep. Yeah. We just didn't try hard enough. Just didn't try hard enough. Now, that'll show you. Nothing in Ireland is simple, folks. It's lovely locals, yeah. No, absolutely. Um, this is actually a very, very good lesson and one that I probably should have learned a long time ago. Um, well, actually, let's, let's break it down into two lessons. The first one is, things are very rarely as they seem in Ireland. I reckon that's a good lesson to be teaching people, isn't it? Hopefully. Yeah, so if something seems closed or, I mean, it may just be closed, but if something seems closed or blocked or anything like that, just have a little poke around. Don't be afraid to, you know, rattle the handle and stuff like that. And the second lesson is... Respectfully. Respectfully, obviously, yes. Um, yeah, don't be demanding entry anywhere. But the second lesson is, if in doubt, ask a local. Because they might be a little bit confused about why you're interested in the things that they don't necessarily value, would that be fair to say? Yeah. Yeah, because they're kind of too close to it. But... Exactly they will help you. They will always go out of their way to help you. Well, no, okay. Can't really say always, because, you know, there are some fucking dicks living in Ireland, obviously. Majority. But the majority of people are very friendly, very kind, and will actually go out of their way to help you. Do you get photographs of those yew trees, yeah? Aren't they amazing? Those ones? Mm. Yeah. Majority also helps, yes. Yeah, plus the majority voted yes. Proof that people of Ireland are mostly not arseholes. So now, do we, we have to go back out and around, yeah? God damn it. Yeah, I could have been picking up crow feathers all over the place here, but I want to leave them as they are. I'm not quite sure why that is, because normally I would be picking up all these crow feathers. But these are not my crow feathers. Want to try the side door? Look at these yew trees, they're amazing. These are hundreds and hundreds of years old. Because they're so slow growing. <laughs> Give it an old rattle there. Hi Eve. Yeah. No. Okay, go around the main entrance. So our local source, John, the grave cleaner, has 
well I'm sure he's other things as well but we met him while he was cleaning graves he has reliably informed us that as long as the front gate is open then you can get into the church so we are going to go in and have a look at the ohm stone that's in there with the runic inscription on the background on the back side of it rather what John is doing but we're going to carry on Mad. I feel like a tourist here with my little selfie stick. But hopefully it is um, helping there not to be too much of a shake. Oh, let these cars go by. some pictures of those with your fancy camera. Mm -hmm. Thanks. We have a very fancy holy water font as well. That's cool, huh? Oh, no holy water in it. I don't think the Protestants do holy water, do they? Do Protestants do holy water? Feel free to leave comments in the comments below and correct me. I have a feeling the Protestants don't do holy water. And this is a Church of Ireland church. The cross is cool though. It's another high cross that's been brought in. Kept safe in here. I'm not sure what this bad boy is. This is a sculpture. So pretty. It's a ceramic sculpture, which is being used as a rag tree, looks like. The wishes. The tree vine. <laughs> so it's from scripture and it's an old a piece of art depicting an old stump and new shoots growing from it. Flex that something new can come from something that seems dead or has fallen like a tree. That's interesting because people have been tying rags to it. So I don't know, was that a Bielton a celebration that was brought in over? It tickles me and it's very very appropriate that a Christian scripture inspired sculpture got singing going on up there lads Christian scripture and inspired sculpture no holy water in Protestantism okay but yeah I'm pure pagan 
pig in rags tied to it. It's our singer. It looks like a busker. Is he a busker or just a singer? Like a church singer? Nobody knows. Oh, he might be the reverend, actually. That's a nice cross. Nice carvings. So, please do not touch the cross or the base, thank you. I thought there was going to be something information about it, but no. Just uh, notice not to touch it. So I am not going to go in there. It feels kind of disrespectful. But, uh, I want to have a look at it. But yeah, I'm not going to set foot in. I think that is mission accomplished. Got an old gander at the OM. So it's not very um, big. It was a fragment that was found in a wall and it's up to like my, it's up to my thigh. So I'm not quite sure. What's the runes? What's the runes? It's the arm. Nope. Oh. Oh, that makes more sense. I, <laughs> I completely missed the arm. So this is the runes here. Lord, what kind of a freaking tour guide am I? This is the runes here. And they're sideways. So uh, if you can do them that way, that's what we're looking at. Oh, rotate your device. All right. Sorry, Facebook. Facebook doesn't like me going sideways. I'll do what I want, Facebook. And then here is the ohm. Ooh, do Protestants get baptized? Eve says that this up here is probably a baptismal font. I think they do actually, because um, Baptists have like full body immersion and stuff, so. I don't know, do they just like dip the baby's head like they do in Catholicism? I'm woefully ignorant, apologies. I can tell you about Catholicism, but uh, we, uh, they kind of had a monopoly on us when I was growing up, so that's kind of all I learned. But yes, it could be a baptismal font. Oh look, Ohm stone information now, I got it. Zoom, can I focus? No, of course I can't focus, why can't I focus? <sighs> Oh, let me focus. Come on, Facebook, keep up. God damn it. Excuse me. Ooh, they do dip the head. Okay, now we're focused. Kind of. Okay, I'm going to read it out. What's it say? It says, Om is an old Gaelic form of writing which is often found carved on standing stones. This example, which was discovered in 1916, dates from about 1000 AD. I thought the first century was uh, a little bit optimistic. optimistic. <laughs> so 1000 AD, uh, or common era, as we like to do it, is unusual in that it bears an inscription in runes, a Scandinavian script. It may have been carved by a Viking who was converted to Christianity. The runes read, Thor Grimmer carved this cross. The Om reads, a blessing on Thor Grimmer. So El Thor Grimmer carved this cross. And the Om, a blessing on Thor Grimmer. And John got lots of pictures, didn't you, John? Yeah. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> so this doorway is nice too. Interesting, can you see? This is the one where, um, when we met John, uh, he was on the other side of that. Oh, look, there's John's bucket. This is John, our local tour guide from earlier. You may remember him from... Okay, so this is a Romanesque doorway. Stone carving of this doorway can be dated to circa 1185 and is one of the finest examples of Romanesque sculpture in Ireland. 
Three of the arches are decorated with chevron or zigzag ornament and every available surface covered with different animal or foliage designs. The doorway is not in its original position and is constructed from stone salvaged from earlier churches on this site. Other fragments of similar carving are stored in St. Flannan's Oratory beside the cathedral and at St. Cronin's Church in Chumgraney. The arch was reconstructed at the beginning of the 18th century to provide a focus for the reputed burial place of Murakartok O'Brien, King of Munster, who died while on pilgrimage to Killaloo in 1119. Two gravestones at the base of the doorway are said to mark the spot. So that would be these two gravestones here. Oh, hi Dave. The explanation of the Futhark Ohm inscription is on the wall near it, I think. Yeah, I just read it out. Honouring some bike had the cross that is now missing carved. Yep. How are you, Dave Mooney? I haven't seen you in a long time. So I'm going to back up and see if I can get a, a proper image of the Romanesque. It's obviously hard to do it when I'm inside and the light is outside, so... window, which window they're talking about. This window was erected October 1865 by Captain Gilbert of the Royal Engineers who died blah 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 fuck off Captain Gilbert not really interested in Captain Gilbert now are we but, uh, that's cool so I hope you enjoyed the little tour around Killaloo Cathedral sorry St. Flannan's St. Flannan's Cathedral Church. And we are going to say goodbye.